you know, Sonali, there was, um, I, I'm not sure if mm. this is right or wrong, but I read somewhere that you got cast in one of your initial films because you had beautiful hair. Oh, yeah. yeah. Then, oh, my God. You know, you yeah. put out this really brave video where, you know, this was, this was around the, the time that yeah. your chemo was starting. I don't know. I mean, you know... Now, when I look back, I mean, our life has been all about the hair. I mean, <laughs> it sounds really uh, uh, kind of uh, superficial when you say that, but you know, it's true. It was about the hair, and like, I, like you said, I got, uh, I've done every hair product I've advertised at some point or the other in my life, and uh, I did get my first movie because of the hair oil commercial that I was doing, and you know, that was the one that got me into prominence mm. and my hair was very much a part of the personality and uh, talked about and it was very much the image. The whole and, package, yeah. Yeah, it was part <laughs> of that whole uh, package and uh, I don't know how to say it. What do you think? How was it? The girls had come. They were there next to me, all my friends, my sisters yeah. were there. Um, it is, I knew it would fall off and uh, it was beginning to uh, fall off and I said, you know what? I don't want it to be clumps on my bed and feel horrible about it. I said, let me, I want to enjoy it and I'm going to take, enjoy getting rid of it also. So um, we did a big deal about it. Yeah. All my friends were there <laughs> and we did this haircut and you know, our kids were there. That yeah. was also another, we did this short haircut and it did look really nice and I enjoyed that haircut. But after that also, while going bald, I remember Gayatri saying that let's keep this hair. Yeah. You know, it was long and she's like, yeah. you know, let's keep it, we'll make a wig out of it. And yeah. I said, no, Gaia, I'll just give it away. Yeah. I mean, you know, just it's not meant for me. It's mm. not meant to be. Just let it go. Mm. I don't want to hold on to it physically or anything. Just let it go. Yeah. And I'm glad I did that because somewhere I would have been holding on to it if I would have kept mm. the hair, you know. I'm yeah. glad I let it go. It was meant for somebody else. The use for it was over is what I feel. Yeah. Ah, it'll grow back and it it is growing back. Of course it is. Yeah. Yeah. I, and I can't it's tell you beautiful. how well it's yeah. soft it's and, and it's looking it's so nice. Hey, yeah. chic. In fact, the hair is unbelievable. Yeah. But you know, <laughs> you know this girl, unbelievable. Uh, correct yeah. me if I'm wrong. Yeah. She looks good anyhow. Yeah. <laughs> she really does. Seriously, she really does. She was butt yeah. bald. Yeah. She looked good. She yeah. looked fantastic. She had this much hair when and it had it was looking like a skinhead. She looked good. Yeah. <laughs> With the wig, she looked good. Yeah. With the short hair, she looked good. And we were like, God, dude, you have to stop and, looking and good. She has a perfect uh, bald scalp. scalp. Yeah. Yeah. There's it's no really bumps, cute. No dead. It's yeah. perfect. No, I mean, it's this is amazing. I can't. Ah, I can't no, yeah. weeping. Come on. Yeah. 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 No, 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 no. no, no. no. Sorry, I'm sorry. This is because yeah. Yeah, but no, no. they've been my strength. You know, we when we would we would only follow you through social media, and then it would be amazing for us to see all these happy posts you would put. Mm -hmm. Now we don't know what you were actually going through, but we saw some really amazing hashtags. Mm -hmm. One of them was called hashtag One Day at a Time. That was yeah. Cool. Yeah. And yeah. There was another one which was called hashtag Switch on the Switch sunshine. on the sunshine. Where did these two come this, from? You know, it was uh, when we heard about it, and oh my God, it was like. Suddenly you've been hit by a train, basically. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it was like, what are we going to do about this? And what do you, how do you deal with and it? And at that and, you point, know, you were in India when you heard about yes, it. Yes. Yeah. And, okay. and, you know, Goli would just tell me that, let's just get through today. Let's just get through today. Yeah. And that's where it came through, you know. And it was literally like, you look at, just get through today. Mm. Uh, get into bed, you know, like, whatever. The nights are terrible and whatever. But, you know, just get through the night. Get into, oh, morning. Let's be, eyes awake. You're awake. Yeah. You're alive. Let's get through today. Let's get through today. Mm -hmm. And that's where one day at a time came. Mm -hmm. And it was literally like, it was like a mantra. And you would say, just one day at a time. We would, when the mm -hmm. post the chemo, when the pain would be unbearable, yeah, and he would exactly. be like, you know, just, just one day at a time. Tomorrow's going to be better. One day at a time. One day at a time. And switch on the sunshine was literally, it was like, you know, it was like the dark clouds. I could feel the dark clouds just kind of pressing down on me. And I'm like, I don't want this. I, You know what? Fine. This is what it is. I need the sunshine. Come on, come on. Switch it yeah. on. Oh, and that's where so that's it where came, came from. from. And my beautiful sunrise, sunrise yeah. picture. Remember you sent once yeah. a picture of... Uh, because I, obviously she hadn't slept too well in the night and she was awake yeah. very early in the morning and this, uh, she could see the beautiful yeah. sunrise from yeah. her apartment. She and that's that when she sent that picture to us with yeah. the yeah. switch on yeah. the sunshine. So yeah. that was it Because, was, uh, oh my God, this is going to make swag. me very emotional. But that was the night I'd spent... Uh, I hadn't slept at all, and that yeah. was the night I kind of uh, acknowledged everything, accepted everything, came yeah. to terms with everything, and I said, you know what, this is it, and this is going to be my last crying 
of how did I get this? Why is this happening to me? I mean, these are tears, but I'm not sad about it anymore. I said, from this moment on, it's going to be happiness. It's going to be smiling. Yeah. And I saw the sun coming up. I clicked that. Yeah. And I sent it to my family and to my friends who are like family. Yeah. And I said, girls, switch on the sunshine. That's yeah. going to be the mantra. I refuse to be yes. sad about this. This is it. We're going That's to make the most of it. That's why how, how, how? Wow. Yeah. How exactly. can you not respect and love this? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but you know who I learned it from is Sue. Mm -hmm. I've seen her <laughs> switch on the sunshine without saying switch on the sunshine and get through really tough times in life like a champion. And yeah. that's something that I learned from her. No, and, and, because and, and, it's I, amazing how yeah. she has faced her life and gone through everything with dignity mm. and with a smile on her face every time. Yeah. And I think that is amazing. It and that is what I learned from her. It really is. Yeah. You know, Sweetheart. Suzanne, and we're, we're not going to uh, go mm. into an area that, you know, anyone's uncomfortable talking about. But what's it like? Life as a single mom. How amazing is that? <laughs> My God. I mean, you know, honestly, um, uh, I, like I said before, they asked me, I think that there is an energy that I get from these two kids. Yeah. And I think that... It keeps me, it's like my vitamins. It keeps me going. It keeps me motivated. It keeps me uh, working even harder. And I think that it's an example even for them to see both parents, not only me, you know, working really hard. And I think that as a single mom, I would say that it is very important to be uh, on top of things with, you know, showing them the balance of how to work and be, you know, there at home. Yeah. We were just are there at home. It's not going to give them the impression of what. So I think that, you know, it's not. And honestly, um, I do have a support system in Rithik, even yeah. though that we are not like a married, but I have a support a, system. Comes across as a so really it's a very beautiful zone. It, it's not a marriage, but it's a, it's a good friendship. It's, it's a, you family. Know, exactly. it's family. It's family, exactly. Yeah. So I think that that zone is so sacred to me. Yeah. That, I mean, like, um, it, it doesn't make me feel uh, sad or mm. lonely. She has uh, <laughs> created so much positivity. Like, her new home is so beautiful. Yeah. It's so yeah. positive, oh so energetic. It is. It's such a wonderful vibe that, you know, she, I mean, you can see her strength <laughs> and you can see her independence yeah. and her talent. Yeah, oh my Everything God. in it's one, a you know. Space. So yeah, yeah. We, can't, we can't wait to get into that yeah. apartment. Yeah. I have to. We've it's heard fabulous. about your talent. I have to. Yeah, really. I'm yeah. going to invite you yeah. very soon. So yeah. everybody knows where the after party is without the cameras. <laughs> <laughs>